if error formulas in Smartsheet can be used when you have a formula that might return an error. They are used in conjunction with other formulas. This formula allows you to specify what value you want to display in the cell if the formula returns an error. For example, let's say you have a formula that divides one cell by another cell, but sometimes the second cell is blank. In this case, the formula will return an error. To avoid displaying this error message in the cell, you can use if error formulas to display a custom message, such as no data. Another common use for if error formulas in Smartsheet is when you are using functions that reference other cells or sheets such as a VLOOKUP. In this case, if a match is not found the formula will return a no match error. By using if error formulas, you can display a custom message such as not found instead of the error. This formula can help to improve the readability of your sheet and make it easier to understand the data. It can also help to prevent errors from disrupting your calculations or analysis. For example, we have a formula that returns the month a job was completed. The completion date cell is blank for jobs that are in progress or have not begun. If the cell is blank the formula returns an error message, invalid data type. We want to return a value that reads no data if the completion date cell is blank instead of the invalid data type error message. Open the sheet in which you want to use the, if error formula and select the cell where you want to display the result of the formula. Type the equals sign and, if error followed by an open parenthesis in the formula bar, followed by the formula you want to use. In this example our formula reads, month, open parenthesis, completion at row, and parenthesis. Enter a comma to separate the formula from the value you want to display if the formula returns an error. In this example we want to return a value of, no data, so we will enter quotation mark, no data, quotation mark, and press enter. Please note, the value you want to display if the formula returns an error is placed within quotation marks. If we wanted to return a blank cell we would enter two quotation marks with no value between them. If the completion date is blank the formula will display no data instead of the error message. We hope this tutorial helped you utilize if error formulas in Smartsheet. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, SmartLink Basics, for more helpful tips.